Never before has the leader of the free world been so cognitively compromised. It's clear to me at the least that US President Joe Biden is struggling with dementia and is clearly not up to the task he's been sworn in to do. This was apparent to many during the election campaign, but such was the hatred for Donald Trump by the partisan and poisonous mainstream media. They chose not to highlight anything that actually may have derailed a Biden victory. Even now, after he's been sworn in, many of them are still refusing to speak the truth about Biden's lack of capacity. It was quite telling that uh, while President Biden was playing Mario Kart and napping all of last weekend, apparently he had no official duties, his ambitious deputy Kamala Harris was telephoning foreign leaders. That's a novelty for a vice president. And this week, he emerged to participate in a sanitised town hall being interviewed by the Bidenista, Anderson Cooper of CNN. Biden promptly gave away his teleprompter and the result was nothing short of a disaster. Biden started off by excusing the genocide against the Uyghur people by the Chinese Communist Party. He dismissed it as just Chinese cultural norms. And then he made what many interpret as racist comments about television commercials. Did you ever believe five years ago every second or third ad out of five should turn out to be biracial couples, he said. Like, who cares about that? Who counts that? And why bring it up? But then he went on to suggest that blacks, Hispanics and people who live in the country aren't really smart enough to get online. A lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody in the community, in the Hispanic and the African-American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts, know how to use, know how to get online to determine how to get in line for that COVID vaccination. Well, what a way to offend almost all of your voter base. Anyway, it was capped off by Biden admitting... He doesn't really know where he is a lot of the time and he actually needs to ask his carer, um, I'm sorry, his wife, where he is when he wakes up in the morning. Over the years, over your career, you've already spent a great deal of time at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, except now you're living there and you're president. It's been four weeks. What's it like? How's it different? I get up in the morning, look at Jill and say, where the hell are we? Well, he should get some marks because that was probably the most honest thing he said during the entire event, because much of it was littered with total falsehoods, like this claim that the Americans didn't have a vaccine when he came into office. Now, that's total BS. And I can say that because Joe Biden, Joe Biden actually had the vaccine before he was uh, installed as president. But it went entirely unchallenged by the interviewer, Anderson Cooper, or anyone else in the mainstream media. Have a listen. The biggest thing, though, is you remember when you and I... No, I shouldn't say it that way, as you remember, but when you and I talked last, we talked about it's one thing to have the vaccine, which we didn't have when we came into office, but a vaccinator. How do you get the vaccine into someone's arm? Now, I'm not here tonight to highlight the mental impairment of Joe Biden. It's too easy. And it's not his fault. But he did run for office knowing that the decline in his capacity was accelerating. And so did the media. And so did the Democratic Party. Yet they all chose to cover it up. Just like many of them sought to cover up the Hunter Biden laptop and cash for access scandals. They haven't asked Creepy Joe about the weird hair sniffing, the allegations of sexual misconduct, his previous support for segregation, the rather odd way that he interacts with women, and his overtly racist statements. Now, these excuses for journalists are continuing the cover-up of Biden's presidency. In reporting on the dumpster fire that was the Biden town hall, many media outlets simply omitted the gaffes, the lies, and the clear Chinese propaganda lines. It's like they're running a Biden protection racket, while simultaneously protecting themselves from admitting their unconscionable conduct during the election campaign was instrumental in having this man elected as president. It's all rather pathetic, but even usually smart people are blinded by the nonsense put out by the mainstream media. They believe every perceived sin of Donald Trump while they seem intent on canonising 
St. Joe.